Imagine that we have the sales forecast of a fictional company called XYZ. We have the month, quarter, year, product, and sales. If we go down the list, we see that there are a number of different products bringing in thousands of revenue per quarter for the years 2018 and 2019. However, that's not a lot of information. How can you make sense of data by just glancing at it? We discussed various Excel functions such as sort and filter and Excel charts. We also had a look at various Excel formulas. But over here, I'm talking about making sense of the data by just glancing at it. None of the tools that we have discussed previously are as powerful as conditional formatting. Conditional formatting allows us to easily spot trends and patterns in our data using bars, colors, and icons to visually highlight important values. So let's say I'm interested in selecting data greater than 500,000 for Q4 2018. So I'll just select the sales numbers for Q4 2018. I'll go in conditional formatting. I'll go in the greater than option and I'll enter 500,000 because I'm interested in finding values that are greater than 500,000. If I click here, I get a number of other options as well. I can format the data with a light red fill, a yellow fill, a green fill, and so on. Let's go with green for now. I'll hit OK here. It's just a lot of numbers again. How do I make sense of the data in Q1 2019, for example? If I go in conditional formatting, and if I go in data bars, and if I select like a gradient fill bar option here, now at a glance, I can easily tell that shirts in March of 2019 generated the most sales as far as Q1 is concerned. If I select this data again, and if I go in conditional formatting, I have a number of other options as well. I can also do a solid fill. Now let's take a look at the Q2 data set for 2019. These are all the line items for Q2 2019. And let's say that I'm interested in finding out the top 10 items. So if I click on this button, I get the line items with top 10 values highlighted in red. Initial formatting also uses some pretty interesting color scales. Let's see how to apply those in practice. So I selected the Q3 2019 data here. If I go in conditional formatting and I go in the color scales option, I have a number of different options available to me. So if I select on the red, white, and blue color scale, red is highlighting the most material numbers, followed by light blue and then dark blue. So I can play around with a number of different options. If I select the green, yellow, red scale of range, green is highlighting the most material numbers, shades of yellow are in the middle, and red is highlighting the lowest values. Another very interesting option in conditional formatting is the use of icon sets. So if I select on directional icon sets, for example, let me select the option over here, the triangles. The green triangle is showing the highest numbers. Yellow is highlighting the numbers in the middle. And red with the down arrow or the down triangle are showing the lowest values. The indicator icon set is also very interesting. If I select on this option, the indicator with a green tick mark is showing the the highest amounts, the amounts that are in the middle are in yellow exclamation mark icon set, and the red with the cross in the circle highlights the lowest values in the data set. So just like that, if you have a big data set, you can very quickly start to make sense of it. So by using conditional formatting, I can easily tell that in Q4 2018, there were a number of line items above 500,000. Only shirts in Q4 2018 we're lagging in sales. If you look at Q1 2019, I can easily tell that shirts in Q1 2019 performed quite well. In Q2 2019, these were the 10 products with the highest amount of sales. In Q3 2019, shirts again outperformed the rest of the products. The shirts rounded off the year with another strong performance in Q4 2019. The company might need to revisit sales of coats and jackets because they're clearly lagging the other products. There are a couple of other options related to conditional formatting. Let's say you have a, a long list of data. Some are highlighted, some aren't highlighted. In that situation, it becomes very difficult to identify which cells actually have conditional formatting. So in order to identify and isolate those cells, 
we can easily use the find and select option under the home tab. So if I click on find and select, and if I hit conditional formatting over here, it's going to highlight the cells with conditional formatting. So that will allow me to isolate the cells with conditional formatting. Another very useful conditional formatting option is the manage rules option. So if I hit this button, I can easily see the rules that have been applied to my data set. And if I want to change those rules, I can easily edit the rules by clicking on this option. So let's say in the icon set, the value is showing as green when the value is above 67%. So I can easily change that and say that show me the green tick mark when the value is above 60% and show me the amber exclamation mark when the value is less than 60 and equal to 50%. And show me the cross icon when the value is below 50%. So if I change the formatting rules, and if I hit apply, the conditional formatting changes. So previously we had very few line items with a green tick mark. We just had the shirts that were performing well. But as we have now changed the rules, we now see that shorts and sweaters are also generating some sales. So we can easily change the rules based on the questions we are trying to answer. When you are pressed for time and you have a very large data set, initial formatting becomes a very useful tool to analyze data. Imagine you're rushing into a sales meeting and you have to highlight the products that performed well over the previous quarters. By applying conditional formatting options, you can easily answer questions related to product sales with a click of a button. The applications of conditional formatting are wide. Make sure you practice the various conditional formatting options we discussed, as this will certainly be time well spent. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.